Okay, today we're talking about increasing your silver income while you're out there grinding in BDO. And if you're like me and you're a returning player or a new player, you might not even have noticed this icon um, because, at least for me, a returning player, I don't recall getting a pop-up when I reached level 56. But anyway, this is Agris Fever, and as you're out there killing mobs, this will be consumed and it will give you more trash loot. It starts off at a base of 50,000 and it gives you an increase of 100% drop amount. At, at the start and there's a way to upgrade this which i'm going to show you step by step how to upgrade it but i wanted to go out because it doesn't really give too much information so i was testing it out on just these little bugs right here and it doesn't seem like it's being consumed with these guys uh and then i went around the world a little bit and was kind of messing with different types of mobs and it seems like i don't know exactly how it works i don't know if it's the level of the mob or whatever but it seems like anything with a gray name didn't consume agris fever but then I ended up getting to some mobs over at Shira Runes, and they have green names, and it did consume my Iris Fever. So it's probably worth manually turning this on and off, depending on where you're going and what you're trying to do. You know, you might be doing some, some kind of quest where you gotta kill a certain amount of mobs, but you don't wanna consume this because maybe the trash loot there isn't that good. It's also worth noting that while you're out life skilling, doing any type of gathering, that Agris Fever will also get consumed that way, so. Okay, so we can upgrade Agris Fever. We can literally double the amount that we have. We can also increase the item drop amount by 50% and also increase the recovery amount that we get back each day. In order to do this, you need to be at least level 60. And if you open up your O menu, like I was doing, you're not actually gonna find it in here. You have to open up your Black Spirit. And I think it's under the suggested tab. You'll see something where it's got in brackets, adventure log. Yeah, so you'll accept those. This first part auto completed for me, but this is the, the location, which we're gonna have to return to anyway after the second part. If for some reason you don't have it, it's right here to the left of Velia. Each time you finish these adventure logs, make sure you're opening the adventure log and actually clicking to claim the reward at the bottom. For the next part, we're gonna need 100 wheat, 30 bear meat, and 10 fruit of enchantment. The bear meat, and just the wheat were super easy to buy off the central market, but the fruit of enchantment was not. And I didn't feel like sitting around and waiting for an order to be filled because look, I mean, it's just, there's so many people waiting for the orders. So I decided to go over to Olvia and went into the grape farm and just started picking some grapes. So normally the fruit of enchantment is a rare drop while you're gathering, but I got a couple of these herbalist fruit sacks, which made the process go so much quicker. Once you have everything, you're coming back to the altar and you're gonna interact with it and then just offer everything up. And then this step will be done and we'll move on to the next step. From the altar, you're gonna be jumping off this cliff right ahead of you. And underneath there's gonna be this cave entrance. You're gonna keep following this entrance until you enter a big open room. And then if you keep walking a little bit on the left side, you're gonna see a glowing orb and you gotta interact with that. All right, next step, we're going to Crone Castle, which is right above Velia. So once you get to Crone Castle, you're just going to keep running up all the stairs until you get to the very top. And once you get to the very top, you're going to be jumping out this window and then running across and climbing up the little ledge on the other side. Now, for some reason, the glowing orb here didn't show up for me, but uh, it should be in the dead center of this right here. So... All right, next up, we gotta go into town and talk to Alliston. You're gonna give him pieces of the stone tablet and he's gonna make it whole. And then you're gonna head over to Eden at the ancient stone chamber. This is gonna conclude the first book. And now we're gonna move on to the second book, which is actually really simple. You just gotta go around the world and kill specific mobs. So first you're gonna come to Salsen, I think. I don't know, Salsen, Garrison. And you're gonna have to kill a thousand of these mobs. Next, we gotta go into the desert to Crescent Shrine. And you're probably gonna wanna have a compass for this or just make it a little easier. It's pretty close to Sangrain Bazaar, so that's where I started off. And once you get here, you're gonna wanna kill 1,500 of these guys. Now we're gonna head over to Sherikon Necropolis, which is right over by Duvencroon. Once you get here, you're gonna have to kill 2,000 of these mobs. Now we're heading over to Mantrum Forest, which is just to the right of Grana, and you have to kill 2,000 of these mobs over here. Last place on the list is Star's End, which is just to the left of Calpheon. And this place, I actually didn't even finish. 
I killed a handful of the mobs, but even full pen to Valagir, and then I was I had a set of crystals on, and then I took a tent buff, and along with a bunch of other buffs, and they still felt really tanky. So I'm probably gonna wait till I graduate the season and put some better gear on my character, and then I'll come back here and clean them up real quick. All right, well, that's gonna conclude the video for today. I hope it was helpful. Also, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel so much, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.